molecules have proper rotation, so Cn, where, for example, n equals 1, and they remain the same molecule, but they can't have an improper rotation, Sn. The resulting molecule is not the same, but changed by such an operation to become an enantiomer. Let's explore the effect of proper and improper rotation on a chiral molecule by looking at the amino acid alanine. First, we will carry out a proper rotation about the carboxylic acid carbon and the amine carbon bond axis, C3. So 360 divided by 3 equals 120 degrees. So we have a different conformer of the same molecule. Now, to consider the improper rotation, S3, so that includes the C3 we've just done and a reflection. So this shouldn't be the same molecule anymore. Let's check that. We will take the lower carboxylic acid and rotate the whole molecule by 180 degrees so it becomes the upper carbon and vice versa. Now we will reverse the original C3 because it didn't change the molecule. We just want to look at the effect of the reflection. If you look at the original and then this final molecule together, you will see that they are mirror images of each other. They are enantiomers.